In chapter seven, we will be working with differential equations. Differential equations are equations that involve x, y, and the derivatives of y. If x and y have direct variation, or we could say if x and y are directly proportional, we can say that y is equal to k times x, where k is the constant of proportionality. If x and y have inverse variation, or if x and y are inversely proportional, we can say that y is equal to k over x, where k is the constant of proportionality. In this video, we will be using these two definitions to create differential equations from real life situations. The rate of change of w with respect to t is proportional to the square of t. Write a differential equation to describe the relationship using k as the constant of proportionality. The first thing we need to know is that a derivative is really just a rate of change. So when it says the rate of change of w with respect to t, that means that we need to write dw dt. So dw dt is proportional to the square of t. The square of t, that is not the square root of t, the square of t means t squared. So if dw dt is proportional to this, this means that dw dt is equal to k times the square of t, or k times t squared. When it says that something is proportional, we default to that meaning directly proportional, not inversely proportional. So because we knew that dw dt was directly proportional to the square of t, we used y equals k times this. Sandy rides her bike in a straight line. Her position from her starting point is represented by p of t, where t is measured in seconds after the start of her ride. During the first 10 seconds of the ride, Sandy's acceleration is proportional to the square root of the time since the start of the ride. Write a differential equation to describe the relationship, using k as the constant of proportionality. The first thing to do when you're faced with one of these questions is think, what is proportional to what? So we know that Sandy's acceleration is proportional, which means directly proportional, to the square root of the time since she started the ride. Thinking back to our lesson from chapter four on acceleration and velocity and position, we know that acceleration is the second derivative of position. So since we're given position, we do have to work with position. We can't just write acceleration like a of t, but we can write the second derivative of position, which we write like this. So this is really Sandy's acceleration because it's the second derivative of her position. So if her acceleration is proportional to something, that means it is equal to k times something. And then that something is the square root of the time since she started the ride. So k times the square root of t. This is our answer. The rate of change of t with respect to s is inversely proportional to the natural logarithm of s. Write a differential equation to describe the relationship, using k as the constant of proportionality. First, we need to think what is proportional to what? Well, we know that the rate of change of t with respect to s is going to be inversely proportional to the natural logarithm of s. To write the rate of change of t with respect to s in a more mathematical way, that is really dt ds the rate of change of t with respect to s. And we know that it is inversely proportional to the natural logarithm of s. Inversely proportional, remember, that means k over something. So that is equal to k over and then the natural log of s. That's our solution. The number of E. coli bacteria in a petri dish is given by the function n of t, where t is measured in hours. The number of bacteria increases with respect to t at a rate that is directly proportional to the number of bacteria in the dish. At time t equals 6 hours, there are 3,000 bacteria in the dish, and the number of bacteria is increasing at a rate of 1,000 bacteria per hour. Write a differential equation that models this situation. Note that in this case, they did not include information that says using k as the constant of proportionality. That's because instead of just writing k, using this information that they gave us about these numbers and rates, we are going to be able to figure out what is the actual value of k. First though, we need to figure out what our differential equation is. So let's think what is proportional to what here? Well, the number of bacteria, it says, increases with respect to t at a rate that is directly proportional to the number of bacteria in the dish. So we have our rate, and our rate in this case is the number of bacteria with respect to time. So dn dt, and it says that that is directly proportional to the number of bacteria in the dish. So directly proportional, it's k times something. And then we know that the number of bacteria in the dish is going to be n, k times n. Then we can use this next chunk to figure out what k actually is. 
at time t equals six hours. Now we don't have anything to plug in for time. We don't have any t in this equation, so we're not going to plug anything there. There are 3,000 bacteria in the dish. So we know that n is going to be equal to 3,000. So we can plug in 3,000 for n. And the number of bacteria is increasing at a rate of 1,000 bacteria per hour. This means that dn dt is equal to 1,000. So 1,000 is equal to k times 3,000. Then we can solve that equation and get that k is equal to 1 third. Then we just take our original differential equation and plug in 1 third for k. So dn dt is equal to 1 third times n. That's our differential equation that models this specific situation. The number of organisms in a meerkat population is given by the function m of t at time t. Which of the following differential equations describes linear growth in the meerkat population? Linear growth, let's think about what that means in terms of a rate. If something is growing linearly, that means that it is growing at a constant rate. Therefore, the rate, which we could write in this case as dm dt, dm dt, that is the rate of change of the population, that must be constant. So then we just look through here and we see in which of these options is dm dt equal to a constant. That is going to be choice D. dm dt is equal to 150. This specific differential equation would model linear growth in the meerkat population because the rate is constant.